All right, welcome back in for us here rolling through your day. Hope you're having a great Wednesday as well. Our fifth third bank camera showing the skies a really cool view over downtown Toledo right now. The sunshine is out and if you're saying, whoa, 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 this is a first alert day. Why is the sun out? We knew we were going to see plenty of sunshine today, but the winds are why we have the first alert day out and you can start to see the camera shaking just a little bit. I think the next 90 minutes or so you're going to see those winds really start to crank up. Look at first alert Doppler. Just a few scattered showers that are still out there. Let's show you the local wind gusts. They're not too impressive right now. 22 miles per hour in Toledo, 24 in Washington, 26 in Defiance. But let's look a little bit further off to the west and you can see how quickly things ramp up. It's now gusting to 45 and Fort Wayne, 50 miles per hour almost in northern uh, Indiana. And look at that, a 55 mile per hour gust in, within the last hour over there in West Lafayette on the other end of Indiana. And that's the sort of wind that is now starting to come in. And so this afternoon, this evening, it's going to be a totally different story. Let's put our hour by hour forecast into motion. And here we are at five o'clock. The red zone here, that's the winds that could be gusting as high as 40 to 50 miles per hour for several hours this afternoon. That means those higher profile vehicles, when you get a crosswind on the roadways, it does get more difficult to be driving. It's not just localized here to Northwest Ohio, Southeastern Michigan, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Chicago, up north into Michigan. All of these areas are going to have very blustery conditions today, but this is a fast moving system. It's going to be out of here by tomorrow and so our Thanksgiving is going to be a very different feeling type of day. Driving conditions Route 24 to Fort Wayne, I-75 to Detroit because of the orientation of the roads, the crosswind won't be as severe on those roadways. But if you're taking the turnpike to Cleveland, to Chicago or I-75 down to Cincinnati, I think that's the roadways that are going to have more of a problem with that wind coming across the road and disrupting some of those higher profile vehicles. Again, a beautiful scene right now in downtown Toledo. 54 degrees, the high temperature for today. We're going to fall back down into the 30s for tonight and for tomorrow. Highs will only be in the 40s. Extended forecast here shows rain returning for the weekend, but temperatures near 40 degrees for the majority of next week. That's the latest on our first alert forecast. Brian, thank you.